Next on the line, Marcello from Northridge. Hello, Marcello. Hello, Mr. Leo. How are you doing? I am great. How are you? Good, thanks. Do you say Marcello or Marcello? Um, we're in America, so you say Marcello. I'll say Marcello. We can, go, we can go to Italy anytime. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my feeling. <laughs> thank, can, you, thank, you, thank you for helping me. My pleasure. What can uh, I do? Windows, uh, Microsoft installed the latest Windows 10 build. When it completed, I had no sound, no audio. Aye, 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 aye. Anywhere. I All right, tried. so a couple of questions for you. You were already using Windows 10, or you went from Windows 7 or 8 to 10? No, no, I, I'm one of the first ones to take the, the free operating system. Okay, so you did the free upgrade, and as soon as you went to 10, it broke. No, 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 no. Uh, back in... Uh, oh, I see. You're saying ago. you've been running 10 for a year. Yes. I've and you just got the new Creators update, which is now coming out. Right. And as soon as you got the Creators update, which is, you know, it's a bigger update than normal. It's uh, They're going to do these once or twice a year, big updates. Your sound, boop, kaplooey. Right. I, um, everything was fine before Windows installed the, the build, the new build. The minute it completed, I tried to play uh, music on uh, my players. Nothing uh, on YouTube, Facebook, uh, nothing would play. Not even my com uh, computer sounds would play. I tried everything I could. The drivers were good. The sound card's good. What's your? Do you have a separate sound card? Or uh, uh, sound Blaster X5. Ah, okay, I can help you. I know exactly what's wrong. But hang on, because we got to take a break. Uh, I will talk to you off air as you hear the local news, and we'll come back with more of your calls in just a bit. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. So there was a well-known bug with Sound Blaster cards. Uh, I thought there will be it would be fixed. This was a bug that was discovered in the beta of the Creators Update, and maybe they didn't fix it. But but because you have a Sound Blaster, I think. What happened is it changes the bit depth, and you need to go into the Sound Blaster control panel, right? And change it back to six bit depth to sixteen bit. Sixteen bit. Yep. Okay. Um, it also may be an incompatibility if you have the X Fi uh, Sound Blaster stuff. That may be yeah. an incompatibility as well. Okay. So you may need to disable X Fi, but try sixteen bit first. Um, right. And then if not, I'm looking at a thread that says, uh, well, maybe maybe it does work with 24-bit, but maybe the X-Fi is the problem. So um, if if you're on 24-bit, go to 16. And if you have X-Fi, if that doesn't work, disable it. And this is a thread. This goes back to the early days of the creator's update, but uh, which, you know, in theory, they fixed all that stuff. But it happens, doesn't it? Okay. It happens yeah, a lot. Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Leo, this is what happened. I tried to roll it back because the Microsoft tech couldn't help me. They wanted to escalate it. So uh, the rollback failed. And, uh, it oh, now you're hosed. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, well, I, I, I had, actually, it's a good thing because, like you see, recommend, uh, you know, reset your, uh, reinstall your Windows every now and then. Yeah. So uh, the only option it gave me was to reset. It wiped out my programs, uh -huh. and I slowly reinstalled some that oh, I needed. Lord. Yeah, is sound did, but, did that fix the sound? Yes, I got my sound back. But the problem now is Microsoft keeps trying to push the Windows 10 build. Oh, Windows I see. Seven right on me. It doesn't give me any option to tell it to take a hike. So you I can defer it, but you can't. It, so part of the deal right. with the upgrade is. You have to take updates. You can defer them, and they lengthen the deferral time, I think, to a month. But eventually, you have right. to you have to do it. Right. right, that's what I'm doing. Okay, but so in other words, roll back, fix the sound issue. You're worried if you do the creative update again, it'll go away again. Right. Um, the resetting the PC, uh, totally wiping it and reinstalling Windows Fixed 10 it. is what. Yeah, yeah. because I I guess it. I don't know. Set the. I don't know. I just don't know. So, so, so 
actual. Well, so you, eventually you're going to have to take the creator's update. Windows Home gives you no deferral time. Windows Pro gives you a month of deferral time. If you have to do it, uh, go ahead and do it because I think the Sound Blaster, there's, these are known issues with the Sound Blaster and that there are settings that will fix it. Okay, great. So at some point fine. you're going to have to bite the bullet and do it. I mean, it's no. I, I understand your reluctance. Right. Yeah, but, I love my sound. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know what I would do? I would maybe defer it as long as you can. Uh -huh. And keep an eye peeled on the forums for Sound Blaster issues with the Creators Update. Okay. And wait until you see Fixed. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> fixed. And, uh, yeah, good luck. and then you say, oh, and how was that? So I'm seeing one fixed, but this is bef this was the uh, insider's ring, people who were doing the creator's update before the official release, and that was to switch the bit depth from 24-bit to 16-bit, right. and maybe turning off XFi. So those, but those things may be fixed in a, in a better way, like Sound Blaster releases a new driver, which is what really needs to happen. Okay, right. I, I always do. I have an updater program for that. So good, good. if there's one, I'll, I'll get so it. So chances are, if you've got 30 days deferral, there's nothing in the creator's update you have to have. If you can defer it, defer it, wait for it, a Sound Blaster update, and keep an eye on the forums. Right, because like I said, before this, everything is fine. great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some stuff in the creators update that's good. I mean, it's always good to, you know, micro, I understand Microsoft's point, and we want people to stay updated for security reasons. I understand that. Yeah, that is my concern also. Yeah, that's reasonable, but yeah. I, but you're getting the hot fixes. So even uh, you know you just on Patch Tuesday was Tuesday, and you got the hot fixes anyway, whether you took right. the creators update or not. So I don't think you're at you're in, at risk at this point. You're fine. Okay, great. All right. Thank you, Mr. Leo. Have My pleasure, Marcelo. Uh, happy Resurrection happy, Day. Happy Easter. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.